Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Missy, it was great to see you out at the house today. What a beautiful house. Great location, too. Let's go up on top. Let's take a look at this. I kind of like this. I don't know where this decorative uh, block of cement came from, but it uh, it's kind of cool. He's got it just resting on a couple of bricks up here. I'm not convinced if you burn wood in there that you have enough clearance between the top of the flue and the uh, base of this or the bottom of this uh, block. Uh, code requires in chimney caps five inches minimum clearance. You don't have that there. You have about three. Uh, we like to see eight, actually, but I think eight would look terrible. I think um, uh, because this crown is cracked, all cracked up, we come to repour the crown. I think we'll replace these bricks with something a little taller and make that thing set up a little taller, and I think you'll have better luck. It'll draw a lot better. That's my concern. Now, uh, they used a little barbecue grill here as uh, <laughs> in lieu of a screen to keep the creatures out. And uh, as silly as that sounds, it's not a bad idea. If you put screen on here, it would uh, almost act like a blanket. It would send smoke coming back into the house. This thing has so much uh, clearance there that, I, that j it just couldn't happen. So re-pour the crown. Let's boost this. Uh, block up a little bit. Let's leave the block up there and this grill in here and and I think we've got a, a winner winner chicken dinner is what I'm thinking. So uh, that's what I have to say about that. Inside wood burning fireplace, little bit of missing mortar at the floor profile. Sometimes that could be a problem. Uh, it's not in this case. It's just noteworthy in case somebody else notes it. I saw it. Working damper, no problems. Checking the clearances in the attic, no problems. Uh, view of the flue system and the flue joints and like those flue joints. Look at how nice and tight those are. So this is very nice. So I like your fireplace overall. I think we need to make a couple little changes up here and I've given you a price on doing that. And if you need my help, just give me a call 704-526-6348. Email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.